Hi, my name is Ophir Gabe, bringing you another QuickBooks Online tutorial. And today we're going to go over how to add sales reps to your sales form. And then we're going to show, we're going to go through some um, nice reports that allow you to see sales by sales rep. Okay, uh, the first step in doing this is to add our, a custom field to your sales form. And you do that by clicking the gear icon and then going into your company settings and then we're going to want to click the sales tab on the left hand side and then we're going to want to click into this sales form content section the next step is to be to label our field and we're going to call it sales rep and then you click this box to make it internal and then we're also going to want to make this public um, this really depends on your business uh, what this does is make the sales rep uh, field uh, visible whenever you're sending uh, the, the invoice or sales receipt uh, either through email or printing it out um, so we're going to make it public for this demonstration and click save And we're going to create some invoices just so I could show you the reports that we could get out of QuickBooks Online. And we're going to invoice customer A. Our sales rep is going to be OG. And we're going to assume that he sold $450 worth of services. Save and new. Let's create a couple more invoices. And let's assume that we have two different sales rep, uh, OG and MJ. MJ also sold services uh, for $12.50. Save and new. And Let's just do one last invoice. Uh, sales rep OG. And he sold services for $17.25. Save and close. Now you'll see that we have three different invoices using two different sales reps. Now let's look at some reports that you can create using the sales rep uh, field. And you start off by going to your reports by clicking the report tab on the left hand side and uh, the report that I like the most uh, is the sales by product or service detail and so you click on that and then we're going to want to customize this report a little bit so we're going to click the customize button and then we want to change the columns so we're going to click change columns and from the available column side on the left we're going to want to click our sales rep field and this is the field the custom field that we just created so you click on that and you click add to add it to the uh, columns that are going to show up on the report and you could change the order that the columns appear on the report by uh, clicking any column that you want to move around and then uh, clicking the up and down arrows uh, let's just keep it like this The next step is going to be to change the title of the report. Uh, for this report, I want to call it Total Sales Grouped by Sales Rep. Um, and the next step would be to change the grouping. And you do that by going to your rows and columns 
you can click rows and columns or just scroll up and then where it says grouped by I want to change that to sales rep now I'm going to run my report and as you see this is um, your total sales for this particular period uh, grouped by sales rep so what's really cool about this report is that you have a total down here and this total is going to match your sales on your profit and loss statement and you have the sales broken down by sales rep so that's that's really cool uh, let's save this report you, you should always save a report whenever you're doing uh, some deep customizations as we just did so that you don't always have to repeat the customizations you can just go into your memorized reports and uh, run it again so uh, let's save the customizations and we'll we're going to leave this title and uh, we're going to want to make a group I'm going to I'm going to call this group I'm going to add a new one it's going to be called uh, sales by sales rep save okay awesome so now this report is saved into our uh, saved reports screen. Um, another cool report, and let's start from the beginning. I'll just click reports, all reports. That brings you here. You click review sales, and then you could do sales by product summary or sales by customer summary. And this is a, a summary list of all the sales by a particular customer um, we're going to want to customize your report again so I'm going to click customize and this time we're going to scroll down or you could click match from the left hand side and you'll see our sales rep field so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to actually enter the sales rep that we want to look at so uh, let's do OG so you enter OG's name uh, let's change the title of the report we're going to call it sales by OG and let's run the report okay so this is a very simple report um, it's just going to pull up all the sales by this particular sales rep let's save this report so we don't forget uh, we're going to call it sales by OG that's fine and we're going to add it to the same group uh, sales by sales, sales rep group and click OK OK awesome so now we have the sales by um, this particular sales rep to these uh, whatever customers you he sold it to and if you want to drill into the particular details of this um, figure, the, the 2175, you just click into it and then it brings you to this uh, familiar report where it shows the different uh, individual sales that this sales rep made. And so that's, that's really cool. And what I would do also is I would uh, customize this again and then I would do another one for our other sales rep so it was uh, MJ and then I'll, I would change the report title to sales by MJ run the report again and as you see our totals changed because MJ only sold one uh, he only sold one invoice for hours and the amount was different so we'll go back to our summary report and save this one. I'm going to call it sales by MJ. We're going to add it to our group and press OK. OK, cool. So there you have it. We have some really cool reports uh, saved uh, showing us sales by individual sales reps. 
and to access those reports you just go into your reports and then under my customs reports my custom reports uh, you'll see our group sales by sales rep and then our individual reports that we just created and um, QuickBooks Online has really cool features where you could just schedule this to be emailed to whomever uh, on a regular basis so that, that's really cool um, you can also uh, run this report another cool thing you could do is run this report uh, either monthly or weekly however often you want to cut commission checks and uh, just export this into Excel and then you could enter your formulas to base uh, commissions off of these sale numbers okay um, there you have it if you uh, like this video please uh, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future uh, and as always if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below um, also I wanted to plug myself uh, in if you guys ever need any one-on-one -on -one training or QuickBooks consulting services please feel free to call me my number is 954-358-9487 uh, also you can visit my website where I post a uh, blog post uh, about uh, different QuickBooks tips and tricks uh, my website is www.firstclasstaxsolutions.com Okay, uh, I hope you like this video and have a wonderful day. Thank you.